nothing to see here. Definitely not getting my tan on on a beach in an undisclosed location. Why am I wearing a sweater vest on the beach, you ask? Great question, I will not be answering it. First thing on the agenda for today, because priorities, is uh, change our hair. Because new day, new hairstyle, Come right? On Come on in! Don't yes. be shy! Oh, I won't be. Thank you so much for being a 24-7 service. <laughs> There's no open times, closed times. She's just working all the time. What is it you might be interested in? I want a more sleek hairstyle now. I think we've been doing the updo for a little bit. I'm kind of over it now. <laughs> Let's do this one. Yes, I don't think I ever wore this hairstyle in my first playthrough. I love it with the blue and with the outfit. Just chef's kiss. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Oh, I will be back. Probably tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after that. Probably all three days in a row, because I'm obsessed with changing my hair. It's the middle of the night. I couldn't think of a better time to sneak into the hidden, was it hidden herbology corridor? Ooh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What are the buttons again? <laughs> I gotta do a little bit of relearning. I want to do this quest because I think it'll help me with something else unrelated to this quest. But either way, I think the rewards for this one are pretty good. And we get to help out Puffskeen Dunking. One spark away from becoming kindling. Kindling. Confringo! Here we are. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. <laughs> I wonder where she got that from. What's the what's the line from the movie? Devil's Snare, Devil's Snare. It's deadly fun, but we'll sulk in the sun. That's it! Devil's Snare hates sunlight. But what do we have to use for this? I think it's Lumos, right? Yes. What do I want to switch it out with? Let's just do that for now. Lumos. Rat, move aside. <laughs> Every single time I see a suit of armor like this, I immediately think of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I can't help it. There's a chest up there. I want to get it. Confringo! Wait, wait, do I gotta wait to jump? There we go. We got it. Blue four eye spectacles. I'm sure they're real cute. <laughs> Lumos. Wait, do we gotta repair this? Nope. Break it. More like. Devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Right. Confringo! Set that on fire! What the heck are you Lumos. doing? Move. Confringo! Okay, that's fine. I thought it would just blow up. There we go. Now we're working. Ah. That one's just being temperamental. Poacher coat. Ooh, what's this? Revelio. Dang, I thought there'd be something hidden there. It's a podium, but who are we addressing here? Where's the crowds? Someone must have forgotten to send out the invitation to my TED talk. Confringo. Let there be light. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Yeah. But I'm not giving him anything. He's got to work for what he wants. I'm not going to handhold. <laughs> I also don't work for free 99. I don't know why that one's not lighting up, but it's cool. It's fine. I don't care anymore. I just want this. Collect. Yes, because I need to use a Venomous Tentacula on a group of enemies to get Wingardium Leviosa, I believe. Confringo. 
so I figured this would help me with that because I need seeds and I don't want to pay for them. <laughs> so this is the next best thing. Oh, that's right. This leads right back into the greenhouse where I can steal more of this. <gasps> Dude, yes! So glad I thought to do this quest first. Oh, oh, that, that just scared the Jesus out of me. We're fine. I also think that this room specifically is locked. So now it's not. I don't think we could access it before when we came here. I could be wrong. But knowing me, I probably tried to go through every single door. Cha-ching. Got what I came for. Now let's not go give Duncan what he asked for. <laughs> Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. I have, Puffskeen Duncan. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Yes, you're welcome. I barely came out with my life. Actually, I might just keep this. Now that I think about it, Puffskeen Duncan, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. Cause I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet, whatever the freaking song is. Acting stupid. What's happening? What's happening? Cause she's a savage. <laughs> no one should give me a phone or anything connected to the internet that has the ability to access social media. You'll learn a lesson from this. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. Cause I'm a savage. <laughs> Oh. Okay, can I be honest with you guys? I never thought... Uh, okay, maybe never is a strong word. Maybe I anticipated a little bit that, like, being evil would be really fun, but, like, I didn't think it'd be this fun. Holy jeez! Ha! Such footwork! This isn't the ballet, you know! Oh, God! Don't- <laughs> you just made me crap my pants, don't you know? Oh! I just saw someone die again. Let's go report back to Prof Fig. And see what he wants us to do next. I was hoping to see you. Well, I am here now. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? Come on, dude, keep up. Long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Look at us. Taking charge. She just controlled the situation. I love that. I love that for her. Also, he did not mention my blue hair. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. Who's How the real professor Jack here? Don't get the pages from the book. Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Yes, Peeves. Also, look at her taking charge being the professor. Who's educating who here? 
<laughs> we're strong. We're independent. To think it was beneath us all this time. Okay, that's still cool. He's walking on water. I Look, wish. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. I love my character right now. There's something about her. I just, I feel so connected in an evil way. She's if so cute. You here to see this. No, don't feel bad. No. Speak to the portrait. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I don't recall it fully. I actually don't, so this is true. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. 
Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Ah, uh, it doesn't look familiar. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. <laughs> as your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Will do. Do you know anything about the tower? I don't care. I'll see you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. I'll just tell everyone where I'm going. <laughs> so about all of this not really falling into the wrong hands. Oh, they gonna find out. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Can someone just do it for me? I don't want to do it. I don't have the patience. <sighs> but I know Glacius is a good one. I don't remember what it pairs well with, but we'll figure it out as we go. I'm also really curious to know how everything kind of changes, if anything really changes at all at the end. When you choose the more obviously evil route versus doing the good thing. And we are at the first tower. Intriguing pace, San Bacar Tower. Lovely view, I'd imagine. No idea who this Bacar is, mind you. <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't know. I just, I just sit here all day, every day. Oh, that's funny. I've never heard her say that before. Or at least, if she has said it, I do not recall. There you Over are. Here. I need a tent or something. If I plan on sleeping outside... <laughs> We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, Let's go beat some ideal. people up. I mean... No, it what? isn't. This way. Let's switch this back to Livio, so... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. Uh, boring. What? So, I don't want to keep it on forever. Switch it to that right now. Arrival. There we go. Because we all know stealth, for me, won't last very long. So now I want to switch this back. Come on, Fig, take your own advice. Go in Viz. Way ahead of you, bud. Ooh. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to cast Petrificus Totalis. This will permanently incapacitate a weaker enemy or significantly damage a stronger one. Oh, I forgot about that. It's like the takedown. The silent takedown, right? Stay hidden and Petrificus come. Petrificus Totalus. Well Once done. again, dude, way ahead of you. Keeping up with the program over there, I see. Oh, okay, okay. It's fine. He didn't see me yet. Now we're gonna get ya. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. I'm evil and I know it. I'm evil and I know it. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Are you talking crap? Oh. Tell us. That's what happens when you talk crap. Wait, have I been looting the other guys? I totally forgot. Oh, how is this gonna work? Can I do two at the same time? Uh, who's that? Not none your business. Ooh! So as long as they don't see you, you're fine. Oh my gosh, I've never done a perfect run like this before. A perfect stealth run. Ooh, might have spoke too soon. Never mind. 
Wait a second, wait a second. I kind of want to... my family were in the mines at one time. Take one out. <laughs> Booyah! Oh, boring. All without being detected. We're so good. Let's go. That's mine. Ooh. That is making me hungry. Oh! <gasps> I have no idea why my brain just thought of this right now. I think I'm hungry, but I was just like, oh, you know what Devil's Snare reminds me of? Black licorice. Does anyone even like black licorice out there? Like, if you like black licorice, raise your hands. Also, are you okay? I'm just kidding. I actually do like black licorice. There's a candy that I used to eat a lot as a kid called Good and Plenty's, and I'm pretty sure that's black licorice. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Anyway, there's some fun facts for the day. I don't know if anyone cares. <laughs> Yummy food, more food. I am seriously so freaking hungry. Are there any goodies down here? Ooh. Yes. Seven cents. Whoop de doo. What is it that we're looking for up here? Investigate the goblin presence. Well, they're dead. They're all dead. What? What else do you want? Maybe we have to check out the door? There's a lot of goodies in there. Well, we can't get inside yet. Maybe it has something to do with this note? Orders directly from Ranrock. These oh. orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Better not be my name. Search the tower and the surrounding area. Look for anything to do with names. With the names. What you find here could be the key to goblin kind finally taking its rightful place in the world, Ran Rock. Okay. Names. I have no recollection of- Oh my god, you- I will draw blood. That genuinely scared the crap out of me. My brain is now not working. I don't- whatever. Whatever. Oh my god. I'm too jumpy for my own good. Quit it. Quit hitting me, guys. Quit hitting me, guys. You caught me off guard, okay? Not fair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I don't want to use that yet, but I want to have the mandrakes ready. I need to use that. Remind me, guys. I need to use that. Cool. I don't know what that was. Don't ask. Okay. I had all thought and logic scared out of me. <laughs> I totally forgot about that for some reason. Oh my goodness. Seriously, my heart is pounding Looks right like now. We found the entrance. Thank goodness. Can we get inside though? It's locked. Hello, Hamora. He didn't say it. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. I know how to learn it. But they don't want to. <laughs> Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. It's probably ancient. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it Gandalf. Could be no, it's Gandalf. Is it Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the White? We don't know yet. <laughs> if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, please do yourself a favor. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, my bad. I'll clean that up. No, I won't. <laughs> anyway, Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite set of movies of all time. Revelio. What else am I looking for in here? I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. You know, I know everyone's against AI and stuff, but like, if I could have anything that would just do my chores for me. Like, I never had to do laundry ever again. Or I could free up time so I don't have to do the dishes. You know, I would not be opposed. I Yes, of course, I could buy a Roomba.
but <laughs> those are expensive. Okay. And Welcome I'm pretty sure to Toby would attack tower. it. Come on, I love finding free money on the ground. Why can't this happen more often? Ooh, it's Percival. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting no, to me. No, I did we not. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. You know, now that I ponder this whole situation a little bit more... A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. It does seem a bit odd to me that, like, this professor would just send a student, an underage student, out on their own. A task that only they can do, apparently, that may kill me. Like, they don't know if I'm coming back from this. And he's like, yeah, you're gonna be fine. I, I, we don't need any slips being signed. Your parents don't need to know about this at all. It's just between you and me. And if you don't come back from this, sucks to suck. But, like, we'll probably move on. I'm gonna take a shot of tea before we go. <laughs> there we go. I think we're good now. Yeet. Oh, there it is. Here we go. I hope I don't die. You know? Revelia. Don't want to leave anything behind. The first trial. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Gotta search everywhere for chests and loot and money. Okay, can't get back there. Nope, never mind. Oh, I know there's gonna be a lot of puzzles with these. Mmm. <laughs> Not very good at puzzles. Wish me luck. Even though I've done them already. It's still gonna take me a minute. Revenia. Ooh, we got a couple different layers here. I cannot go straight across. Wait, what? Oh. Impressive. That must have done something. Right. Let's have a look around. Right, the archways. I remember the big boss fights at the end of the trials being fun. I think. I remember there being one that I really liked. For some reason, that one sticks out in my memory the most. That's a decent amount of gold. Oh, look at that! We're rich. Wait, what did we just walk through? Like, some sort of barrier? Well, whatever it is, it ended. We can't go back through it. Oh, great. Great. Yep. Oh. Are they going to attack us? I don't remember. Oh, 
traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. What is different? I think I have to walk through the arch again. This time, it'll actually change. Wait, 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 wait. Revelia. Is there anything else in- Oh, yeah, I almost forgot that. Technically free money, I just gotta do the extra step of selling it first. <sighs> Otherwise, I think that's all for this room. Does it matter which way I go through it? Wait, 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 was that always there? Huh. Okay, I'm confused now, let's go. Revenia. I think I can throw those eggs so I won't destroy them, even though I really want to. These are never a welcome sight. <laughs> At least I know what to expect this time. Let's go. Now I'm prepared. No jump scares. Take out the big guy first. Ooh, hello. <gasps> Whoa! No! No! Where are the other guys? Got him! Okay. What do we do now? Any loot? got this doorway right here or we can go straight back hmm I feel like we gotta go straight back so what's here? the keep is planned for me I do not remember this at all I wonder if I found this doorway this one I just walked through the first time I played this I do not remember this for some reason oh what is happening what is happening Gotta go back to my room. Oh, we got a puzzle. These look familiar. Yay! Revelia. Woohoo! Oh. Do we have to activate the archway first? I feel like it's not on this level. I think we gotta float around the room first in order to activate it. Yeah. Accio? Whoop. Okay. Can't go that way. We can go this way. Right, so it's on this level. I could do without the creepy whispering. So now that column isn't there anymore. Here. What's the best way to get closer to it? Yeah, yeah, stop right here. Stop right here. Cool. What did I get? More money? I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Saying murderer. I think I might have asked that same question last time I played too. It's cool that I still hear the same stuff. What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Right. Okay. How do I get to the other side though? Oh, duh. <laughs> right here. Uh. 
All right. Oh, no. Okay. So let's say just put me back where I was. So look at that. Magic. <sighs> More statues. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll take that. Thank you. Whoa. Oh. Thanks to Batman, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh. I keep thinking dodge is X. Double, double hit X. Oh, man. Bye. Dead. Done so. Goodbye. Oh, easy on me. Revelia. <laughs> okay. Um. We probably have to use that platform. Where is the? Well, of course we're gonna have to use that platform. Where is the ancient magic thing though? The well. Oh, I think it's up here. Wait. 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 Oh, I'm wrong. It's on the platform. I'll activate that. So here's where I feel like it's gonna get tricky. But I can't remember how it gets tricky. So it's gonna trick me again. I have to go through this from one side, I think. Or no, does it matter? Oh, okay, there's a knight. <gasps> okay, that is never not freaky. Ever. Um. So I think we're in a good position to pull this this way. So it doesn't get trapped on the other side, right? Yes. Now. I want to go back this way. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. See, this is where it gets confusing. How do I reactivate? Yeah, okay, so I have to go this way because there's the bridge now. Okay. I got it. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. You don't see this? What? Oh, wait. A second. Because now that one doesn't have something that I can pull myself to that. But there was... But there was one before. When I went through the archway... The, oh my gosh. Jump. How am I going to do this? See? I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Oh my good lord. Uh, uh. I must have to go through the archway when I'm on this platform. I want to try it, so I'm going to try this. I just, I can't really think of the proper order. We'll see, we'll see. No. Maybe not, because how I need something to Accio to pull me through in the first place. Because I don't think I ever got that that chest the first time. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Yeah, which I know how to do. I've done that. But then how do I get... How do I stay on the platform? And get to the... You know what I'm trying... I don't know what I'm trying to say. But... Maybe I'll just forget about it. Maybe it'll just remain a mystery to me. I'll never get it, ever, in my life. We need that to disappear. Maybe I can set myself up for it in the future. I have no idea. Come over here. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Right you are. I think I went through the wrong side. Yes, I did. Yeah, that is just gonna remain a mystery to me. Whatever ugly spectacles are in there, they're just gonna have to stay there. 
Because you know what? I don't need them. Here. Do I really need the money? I don't think I need the money. I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, we can just jump. Ooh. I'll never get used to these floors. Same. Money. See, we got money. Ooh, we're getting motion sick here. Is there gonna be a fight? Yep, yep. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Ooh, move, move. That was close. That was really close. Bye. I forgot I had the dash. Cool. Focus on one, take him out. No! You stole my ancient magic. I need that, I need this, I need this, I need this. Move, guys, move. Beautiful. I don't know, what? Who did you do that to? Oh, somebody back there. Oh. Yeah, once you get this dash move, you just- you never go back. Stay there. Ooh, nice. Wait, can you levy- Oh, you can levioso those guys, at least. Ah. Oh, you got me. Ooh, move, move. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Finger. Nice. I'll take it. Um Revelia. Any loot around here? Where's my payment for that fight? I can't break that. Darn. Okay. I think there was a set of stairs over here. Yas! Ooh, and another play. Oh my god. Why am I so jumpy? I don't know. Is this one gonna be confusing too? I remember this one being weird. This one is definitely weird. Um, Cause I wanna get this chest, so I wonder if I can- Ooh! Okay, that worked. That really did work. Cool. Okay, but how to get back on it though is gonna be the tough part. Can I just jump up? Jump? Jump? Ooh, I did it! I freaking did it! Cause I think I wanna go through it. I wanna go through the archway on this thing. Maybe not quite. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. <gasps> I did. I did. I died. <laughs> oh no! Let's try this again. But do I have to pass through that all the way then? Oh! No, I just got it closer so now I can jump. Cool. I think that's really all I needed to do. There, perfect. Yeah. Oh gosh, please don't fall off again. Oh god! Oh! I was trying to double check to make sure I didn't leave anything behind, but let's just- let's just go. I just want to be safe. Looks like we're getting close to the end here. Ooh, yep, we are. <laughs> now they're giving us health potions because we know what we're in for. Give me a fight. Revelia. <gasps> oh 
Uh, every single time I, I hear Revelio now, I think of the one comment that I read. Or may, was it an email? I can't remember if it was a comment or an email, but someone's like, Oh my gosh, remember the day, Miranda? Remember the days that you used to spam Revelio? Me and my friends would watch your videos and we would do a drinking contest. Not a drinking contest, drinking game. Every single time you hit Revelio. Uh, do that responsibly. I don't even want to think about how long it took before you were sloshed. That does not sound very safe to me. Okay, but now that, that, um, that comment lives in my head rent-free for the rest of my life. Uh. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. Don't like the look of this. Too slow. Ooh, okay, well. Yeah. Ooh, move! I was almost too slow there. Ah. Ooh. Get wrecked. I need some ancient magic. Come back, come back, give me, give me. Give it. Move. Ooh, that was close. Again. Oh. Nice. Last guy? Maybe not? No. Ooh. Now you don't have a weapon, you ding dong. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Oh gosh, what happens here? There we go. Nice. He's got a lot of health. It's taken a bit. Need that. Thank you. Ooh, I need that too. Give me. Where did you throw that out? What are you doing? Ooh. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh no. Ah, he got me. I need to heal. I'm not good at dodging that. I'll be the first to admit it. That ancient magic, big time. Thank you. There we go. Let's chunk him. Yeah! Get chunked. Do you have anything else I can throw at you? No, nothing? Ooh, what? Oh, and I went in the circle of death. Great, great idea. Hey, I never said I was the brightest crayon in the box, okay? That was close. We need to heal up again. Oh, we need- oh, heal. Like, now. Thank you. Focus. Focus. Mm, when is he gonna throw- oh. I can never tell when he's gonna throw it. Destroy the orb, orb as it's charging up. I need to try that. Hit me with another orb, buddy. Oh, we need to heal. I don't- I don't think that worked. Ooh, that was close. When is it charging up? This guy's tough, I'll give him that. Okay, now it's charged. I don't know. I give up on that one. It's never gonna get done. Ooh, I almost missed that. 
Okay, I, tr I thought maybe that would work. I don't know when to hit it. Is this charging up? Looks like it's charging up now. Okay. Eat it. Yeah. I killed it. What a relief. Another pensive. Revelio. And a chest. Good, let's sweep the room first, make sure I don't forget any loot. Alright, it looks like we're good. Oh, don't cry! No, don't cry, big statue. I love her hair like that. I might never change it. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Ooh, that's deep. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit. Sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Do we know what house she got sorted into? I don't recall. Huh. Huh. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. I certainly don't recall, but I wonder if they tell us that ever. I honestly do not remember. Do you remember? Do they ever even tell us? If you know. Let me know down below in the comments. She was wearing a green dress and that made me think of that. So I was like, oh, I wonder if she's in Slytherin. But then I realized thinking more about it that I don't actually think we know what house she's in. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. I think out of all the houses though, I could see her being a Slytherin. Maybe not, I don't know. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. <laughs> Rookwood. I seem to know someone else in your family. Have I seen you before? 
You look familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed, in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood... Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Class. <laughs> uh, before you go... We're beyond class already. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If Ooh. I am correct, and I usually am, <laughs> you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Wait, to what is he referring? <gasps> oh, that's right. Seasons change. We already got the first one. <gasps> Fall, my favorite season. Even as an evil person, we can still have favorite seasons, right? Yes. We're in our common room. <gasps> I also... I was going to say, I'm wearing a green checkered sweater vest to kind of simulate my Slytherin-y-ness, but I just realized I'm also using a green screen, so wearing any green attire may affect- may be affected with my green screen. I just had I a great idea. The three no! Highly no, 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 I do not want to help you, sir. No. <laughs> anyway, I just had the grand idea <laughs> to wear a bright green turtleneck, and then I could just sit here and be a floating head. I may do it. The real travesty here is that I do not own a green turtleneck. Certainly not a chroma key green. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo. Useful for pulling objects to the ground. Okay, so I have a couple things I need to do. I need to expand my weapon wheel or my spell wheel. I definitely need to use a mandrake on some enemies. I totally forgot to do that. Although I don't know if it works on pensive knights. And then I gotta check in with all these other professors that want to teach me spells because I definitely need more spells. But I could not resist a Summoner's Court match. Bring it on. Ooh, even better, Leander Pruitt. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Good. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. 
Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. I agree. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I agree. It is not just a game. Uh, very well. <laughs> we are not turning this down. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Yes. Yes, I feel connected Summoner's to this Court. character. The ever-changing game. Akio. Wait, do I have Accio on my wheel? I, I shouldn't need to have it there, right? Nothing my to blue? it. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. That's right. Oh, I do have to equip it? That's nonsense. Oh, we don't need it. Woo. Okay. Okay, now all is right with the world. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go. Akio. Stop, 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 stop. We got it. Nice. Cry about it. For the ages. Akio. Yeah. Oh, he got 50 points too? No. Oh, no. Try to beat that. Oh, I will beat that. There is no try. There is only do. No! Fudge. Oh, that's devastating. Didn't think you were a match for me. Oh, no. I am simply devastated right now. That makes it a little bit better, though. Come I'm. On, Leander. I feel oh. better. <laughs> Come on, Leander. A little bit of self-talk. Okay. Oh, I might have let it go too early. Come on! Get in the blue. Get in the blue. Yeah, that's right. I'll let you have that one. Yes, you Mother. will. You beat me. Fifty points. Let's go. Fifty. A hundred. Do the math. I win. I win. Mhm. Mm yes. Because I'm a luck. savage. That's all. Uh, it wasn't luck. I'm not lucky. I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I am. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will make them cry. You're clearly not cut out for this. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it. <laughs> but perhaps you're right. I'll let the others know you're good enough for them. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know, I always knew there was, like, the mean dialogue options, but, like, I never used them, right? So I just didn't understand the possibilities, and they did not let me down at all. We need to get on our broomstick. I got some stuff I gotta do. Like... Oh, I don't know. Pop some balloons? Wait, what's the best way to approach this? Because we have one balloon down here, and I think there's normally five. Ooh, okay, there's one. There's two. We got three here. Oh my gosh, look at their kites! And I think that was... Oh, God. That was three. Four. Um... Where on earth is the fifth one? There it is. They hid them pretty well around here. So I need to get this one above the Quidditch pitch, right? And then I think I need to get another set above Hogsmeade Station. Okay, I found the balloons. Well, I need to find all five. Or maybe not all five, but just find five. So two. Ooh, three. And then we got four already. Ooh, we got... Let's get this one before I forget, because it's behind a tree. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. I'm going to forget about it. Um, this should be five. Look at Hogsmeade Station. Brilliant. Oh, my goodness. We definitely have to stop here and look around. Because, yes, there is a field guide. Where's the and field I'm guide? for the opportunity ever so. There it is. Butterfingers, what can I say? Ah, uh, it slipped. <laughs> I 
and truly evil. I'm trying to get my venomous tentacula to eat civilians. Hogsmeade Station Ticket Office. This station has stood here since the early 1800s when the Minister of Magic Adeline Audel Audeline Audeline Gamble acquired a steam engine train to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight just after the train did. The operation involved using a, a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment charm ever performed in Britain. Ooh, fun fact. Wait, do we ever get to see the train pass through here? I don't know if I've ever hung out around here long enough to find out, but that'd be really cool and kind of nostalgic. Ooh, let's go fight some anemones here. Because I need to do something. You let well, Boom! <laughs> ah, that's right. Let me oh, <gasps> wait, I can kill two birds with one stone right here. You're only here. No! Okay, hold up. We need to do that again. Ah. No, I keep messing it up. No. Okay. I need to Leviosa someone and then Depulso them. Stop it getting my way! Don't do it. There we go. Did it. Done. Where'd the zombies come from? I'm sorry. Inferi. Before someone corrects me. <laughs> Ooh, we need fire for them, though. Don't think you're going to get out of this alive. Leviosa, now you're dead. Oh wait, no, you're not. How dare you? There's still someone left. No, 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 no. Yeah, sit down. Ooh, nice. Yeah. And then I also think I need a troll buggy. I don't know the best place to find a troll right meow. Well, I was trying to locate a troll, but since we're out and about, and we're right here. Ooh, what was up there? There's some skulls. That means bad guys, right? I don't know. I was trying to find a troll. I don't really know where they spawn. Ooh. <laughs> I just love watching them why? Oh my gosh, how cool. Again, that is never not cool. Okay, focus. Let's go turn this in, or rather, not turn this in. Totally keep it for ourselves. That Pippin should have been here by now. I'm here from J. Pippin's Potions. <laughs> Madam Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's Potions. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. For him as well. Mm. Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. <laughs> oh, we have to give it to her. Here are your potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Okay. Woo. What if I what if I say I'd rather not? I'd rather not, but if you insist. Oh. So be it. I'll do it I anyway. Do insist. Oh my god. She's like, here you student, child, drink this. Ugh. Okay, invisibility potion. Right there. There you go. Are you happy now? Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? Um, I just drank the potion that you wanted me to drink. She wanted me to drink the potion, right? I did. But now I don't have three invisibility potions to give to her. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, that stinks. Do I seriously have to go find another one? And then drink that in front of her again? I'm so confused. If she wanted three, why did she make me drink one, huh? Maybe I'll just come back to this one later and see if she has changed her mind. Never mind, I went ahead and bought another one. Spent all my hard-earned money. Just due to this quest. It seems to have worked. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> no 
lots of chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. Wow. If he fails on his own, so be it. Okay, and I'm supposed to be the evil one? Sure. Very well. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Thank you for your time. I should be going now. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. Well, she was a piece of work. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? No, I'm just turning in your fetch quest. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. Mm. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Oh, she was a peach. She's certainly quite difficult. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. Cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. What a great word. I'd like an additional fee, thank you very much. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. Yep. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. I Best of luck don't with care. Your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Yeah. How much? How much though? Where, where's the goldage, huh? You're gonna pay me in a hat? I'm, I don't need the hat. 500, thank you for the 500 coin back that I gave you to buy another invisibility potions for her. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's so backwards. I think I found me a troll lair. Please be there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, right into it, right into it too. Confringo. That's right. Holy. Oh, please tell me there's just one. I want to try to do this special thing on it. Ooh. I thought you could Levioso the... The bat or something. Nice. I tried. Ooh, ooh. You could throw that back at it, though. Even more fun. Need all of that. Thank you very much. Whoa. Wowzer! Okay, he still got me. Well played, well played. Okay. Stop right there. Give me your boogers. That was a close one. I pressed the wrong button. No. Back away. There we go. That did no damage. You dead. Give me your boogers. One left. Yes. Yeah! Okay, so we just killed three birds with one stone being out here. Now I can get three spells. Heck to the yes. So I think we get to learn Glacius now? How did you get on with those tasks? Ooh, mine. Dear Ma Madam Kagawa, Marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near... Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. What a great name. I love that name, Matilda. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Uh, I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. No worries. Oh, it actually looks like a mountain. The, the movement of the wand. It looks like a mountain or like a glacial mountain or something. I don't know. 
Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Right, good point. Yeah, so that's like a restricting movement spell, kind of like Levioso. What one goes with that really well? I can never remember. Is it a fire spell? Like you cool them down and then you instantly hit them with a fire blast? Let's replace that with Levioso. There you go. Yeah. Catch him quickly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I gotta play around with that one a little bit more. Okay. What was the next? Ooh. All right, looks like you're doing a lot better. Okay, let's go to the next professor. Oh, there we go. Look at us doing our homework. Oh, how cute. <laughs> She's me for sure. That's funny. that one per person from each house hanging out love to see it oh, i'll take that to see you again i forgot i was growing plants in here oh i have to talk to her that's right i've completed my assignments professor pleased to hear it professor weasley will be too i'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along thank you professor Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. <laughs> Let's see you try your hand at it. Swish and flick. When executed correctly, there it is. you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. And I think Accio goes right into that, I believe. I should probably practice. But I want to well test done. out Accio as well. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Or right here. We can do that right here, can't we? Um, wait a second. Yeah, that's a, that's a blue spell. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. But I also want to try it with Accio. Ooh, okay, wait, what was there before? I think it was Levioso. Yeah, we need to get more spell wheels next. Accio, Leviosa. Told you. Okay, yeah, so like you never need to place it on any of your spell wheels, which is really nice. But, but you know, it's not a waste to have learned it. All right, so I like that one. Cool. Looks like we're good to go. I think there's one more quest to turn in for another spell. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Uh huh. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Well, that's one of Zenobia's cobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I think I need four more. And then I will not be giving them back to her. If that's an option, she ain't getting them. Mm -mm. I think this is our first time going up to the divination tower, at least in this playthrough. Hello, I love this classroom. This is where I'd be hanging out the whole time. Oh! Just some tarot cards. She's like... I don't know about that. <laughs> that look. She, that look on her face. You are in grave danger. I love those movies so much. Oh my gosh, such a happy place. Tarot cards, tea leaves. Oh, God bless you. I'd be afraid to know what mine would say. She's like, bless these souls right here. <laughs> Where are they gonna be in life? Knowledgeable. Okay, let's get that. Palmistry model. Oh, the standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palm palmistry. 
Oh my gosh, actually, fun fact. The first time I ever had anything in this realm like done to me, like fortune telling, psychic reading, anything like that, I was in New York City with my mother and I was, oh gosh, how old was I? I don't even think, I don't think I had even graduated um, high school yet. Or was I in college? No, maybe I was in college. I think it might have been my first two years of college. I don't know, it was a long time ago. And they were having a little fair on one of the streets and there was a tent and the lady in there was doing palm reading and I did it. I was like, why not? You know, first time, let's see what happens. She gave me the worst reading imaginable. I left, I was literally sobbing in tears. My mom was furious. We didn't say anything, of course. I was just like, never again. But since then, I have had other readings done, like tarot, mediumship, stuff like that, just for fun, just because I think I think that stuff is really fascinating. And I've had very pleasant experiences. I'm also very happy to report that the negative stuff that she reported on when she did my palm reading, none of it was true. None of it was accurate. But I think it was it was a really fun thing for me to look back and realize like, you know, I don't have to listen to that stuff. I don't have to believe it. I can always choose whatever path I want. At the end of the day, we're always in control of our own future, our own destiny, you know, to get deep and philosophical about it. Anyway, something about dying within a fortnight <laughs> is what the rest of that said. All right, let's talk to Onai. Ooh. Those assignments were challenging enough for you. But first, under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished family. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. Well, looks like we know how that turned out. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Greatness, evil, death, <laughs> money, hopefully. I see triumph, triumph, danger, power. I'm not sure. Um, I sense danger. I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself even now. But True. this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. Yes. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Nice. Channel your magic towards your target. Cool, because I just want the extra credit. Levioso Descendo. <laughs> Such a great combo. There's a lot of damage. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's try it really quick. Descendo. Oh, no, it keeps doing that. But first, I want to try Levioso and then Descendo. I think you have it. <laughs> By George, I think she's got it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I feel like we were very productive. We got three extra spells. We did a couple chores. We also did the very first trial. Next, I will definitely be investing in more spell wheels. Also practicing my combos and remembering what goes with what, what does big damage, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button as well to get notified. Alrighty, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.